Welcome to Introductory Statistics using SPSS Second Edition. This video shows how to process the t-test. You can watch the entire video or use the time slider to navigate directly to any time point. The t-test compares two groups of continuous variables to determine if one group statistically significantly outperformed the other. In this example, the members of each group will be given a set of instructions and asked to independently assemble the ABLE chair. The participants in Group 1 were given text-only instructions, and the participants in Group 2 were given text instructions with illustrations. The researcher recorded how long it took each person to assemble the chair. Group 1 had a mean of 97.63 minutes, and group 2 had a mean of 92 minutes. The t-test will compare the groups to each other and compute the p-value. If the p-value is less than or equal to 0.05, we would conclude that one group statistically significantly outperformed the other. The t-test has three pre-test criteria, normality, end quota, and homogeneity of variance. We'll check for normality now. The other two will be processed when we run the t-test. This example uses the data set CH05, Example 01, t-test and manwhitneyutest.sav. This data set contains two variables. The first variable is group, which is a categorical variable containing two values. Group 1 gets the text-only instructions and Group 2 gets the text instructions with illustrations. The second variable is time. This is a continuous variable that contains the number of minutes that each participant required to assemble the chair. To check for normality, we need to order a histogram with a normal curve for time for each group. We'll begin with Group 1, the group that used the text-only instructions. Click Select Cases, Click If Condition is Satisfied, and click If. In the dialog box, enter Group equals 1. Click Continue, and click OK. Now that only the records for Group 1 are active, we can order a histogram with normal curve. Click Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Frequencies. Move Time into Variables. Click Charts, and select Histograms with Normal Curve. Click Continue, click OK, and it'll process. The histogram for Group 1, text-only instructions, meets the normality criteria. Now we'll repeat this process for Group 2, text with illustrations instructions. Click Select Cases, click If Condition is Satisfied, and click IF. In the dialog box, enter GROUP equals 2. Click CONTINUE, and click OK. Now that only the records for GROUP 2 are active, we can order a histogram with normal curve. Click ANALYZE, DESCRIPTIVE STATISTICS, FREQUENCIES. Notice that time is still in variables. Since the Charts option hasn't been changed since our prior run, we don't need to revisit the Charts menu. Click OK, and it'll process. The histogram for Group 2, the Text with Illustrations group, meets the normality criteria. Before running the t-test, we need to select all of the records. The simplest way to do this is to click on the Filter underscore dollar sign variable, and press the Delete key. To run the t-test, click on Analyze, Compare Means, One-Way ANOVA. SPSS does have a t-test menu, but the One-Way ANOVA menu is easier to operate, produces the same results, and will lay the foundation for processing the data sets in the ANOVA chapter. Move Time to Dependent List, 
and move group to factor. Click Options and click Descriptive and Homogeneity of Variance Test. Click Continue, click OK, and it'll process. We see that both groups have an N of at least 30, hence the N quota is satisfied. We also see that the homogeneity of variance test returned a p-value of 0.051. Since this is greater than 0.05, this indicates that there is no statistically significant difference in the variances between the groups. Hence, the homogeneity of variance test is satisfied. Back to the descriptive table, Notice that this table contains the means for each group. These figures will be useful when it comes to documenting the results. Finally, we see the results of the t-test. The p-value is 0.01. Since this is less than or equal to 0.05, this tells us that the text with illustrations group, with a mean of 92 minutes, statistically significantly outperformed the text-only group with a mean of 97.63 minutes when it comes to more promptly assembling the chair. This concludes this video.